I think we are about ready. I forgot to plug in my controller, though, so we might have to see if I need to, uh, you know, close the program, open it back up sort of thing. Because it might not take my inputs. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Uh, is it taking my inputs? Wow, a lot of silence. Does it really not play that much music? Yeah, I think I need to close it and open it back up. Be right. Hold on. Hold on. Professional. I swear. I swear this is a professional uh, stream. Okay, that's loaded. Yay, the controller works. <coughs> All right. Here, let me go ahead and like readjust that. There we go. Now I can see. Is that? I think we are mostly good. I think I'll... There we go. I think we're good. <coughs> Let's get this started. Oh, here, hold on. Let me go ahead and make sure my volume's completely off. Not that it matters. And I forgot to load up Twitch on the phone. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Let's get this started, shall we? New game. Final one. War. Uh, book one. War of Darkness. Book two. War of Heroes. I have not played Fire Emblem 3. So, if anything, book two is the new... Is the first playthrough, right? But if you're playing Fire Emblem 3, you're probably just going to end up playing both anyway. The plan is to play both anyway. So, Book 1 is just a remake of Fire Emblem 1. And I think only about, like, five-ish chapters were cut for space, but... Yeah, it's just a remake of Fire Emblem 1. But we're gonna play it anyway. Let's go. It feels, you know, a good idea. It's probably a good idea to do that anyway. In the distant past, the continent of Arcanea was invaded by the Do uh, Dolorian Empire, led by the Manaket. Uh, Manakete. No. No, it's Manaket. I keep forgetting. Manaket. Manaki. Yeah. King Medeus. The people. Uh, oh. <laughs> the later Manaket, King Medeus. Okay. <clears throat> the people lived in fear and despair. The Holy Kingdom of Arcanea, which had always guarded the world, was also destroyed by the horrific power of the Shadow Dragon. The world was facing ruin. However, a miracle occurred. Henri the, was a youth from the town of Altia. He went on to he went on a perilous journey to obtain the Divine Sword of Light, Falchion, and use it to challenge and defeat the Shadow Dragon, Medeus. With Medeus' fall, the Del uh, Delorean Empire was vanquished. The Kingdom of Arcanea was restored, and the world entered an Age of Peace. Taking lead from the kingdom of Altea, many other countries also began to rebuild themselves. But 100 years after the war with Dolunia, after many years had passed, Medeus resurrected at Doluna. He, he allied with the neighboring kingdoms of Grust and Medon restored the Delu uh, Delunian Empire. Also, he joined forces with the with uh, Cadian uh, Pontifex Garneth, who shared the same ambitions of ruining the world as him, and launched an attack on the kingdom of Arcanea. Arcanea fought with to the death but under Gross's gener uh, General Camus and Medeus' might, they suffered terrible losses. A 
Aside from Princess Nya, Nina, 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 I don't know, the royal family was wiped out. Altea's King Cornelius, who possessed the bloodline of Anri, left to defeat Medeus. He took the Falchion, the divine sword of legends, to battle, but was betrayed by Altea's ally, Gra, and died in battle. Following him, the kingdom of Altea also fell. Prince Marth, just 14 years of age, managed to escape with the help of his elder sister, Princess Elise. And he fled to the distant island country of Talus. I wonder which five chapters they cut. Now this. Prince Mark of Altea was chased out by his homeland by the Dolian Empire. He was protected by the Alterian Knights, led by the veteran knight Jagan. And he escaped after much struggle to the eastern island kingdom of Talus. Yeah, we kind of know this. You just said it. The kingdom of Talus was a small country without even its own knights, located at the frontier. The king of Talus lent his eastern forces to Marth and offered him assistance. After the death of, his, of both his parents and his beloved sisters captured by the Empire, Marth felt anxious. Prince Marth, I, I understand your concern for your sister. However, you're only 14. You're too young to fight with, with the Empire. Please wait for me. Here you can train until you become strong enough. Under the caring protection of tireless citizens, Marth had passed two, two years at this country. Right now, it is fast approaching the day he becomes 16 years of age. And here we go. Smart, Sheeta has come from Taylor's uh, castle. What? Sheeta? What's happened to the castle? Marth, I'm glad to see you. Uh, the Galder pirates suddenly attacked us. They took over the castle and killed lots of people. Please, you gotta rescue my father. Don't worry, Sheeta. The bravest Altian knights are here, to, are here at this fort. We won't lose to those pirates. Come. Let's go to Tyler's castle together. All right, Molly, we gotta go to the castle. All right, time to basically play Fire Emblem One. By the way, uh, I have retro achievements set up. The, I'm not going for a hundred percent on the retro achievements. More like, uh, we'll get what we can, and by the end of it all, we'll see what I get. You know, that's kind of the idea. We'll see at the very end. Alright. What's going on, Molly? What's going on? Boom. Boom. I don't know what do you want. What do you want? Anyway. Okay. So yeah, Fire Emblem 1. Let's see, what do we got? We got Marth has the rapier. So I have a little bit of experience with Fire Emblem 1. I have played both the the uh, DS version. Do you want to go outside? I think my dog needs to go outside. Man, I had to... Okay. Well, it is what it is. Be right back.
Okay, I am back. Molly and just needed to go outside. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, Fire Emblem 1. <clears throat> yeah, I have some experience with this. I have played the DS version of Shadow Dragon. I have also played most of the NES version because it went to Switch. So I'm just trying to get an idea of the controls here. What do we got? King? Okay. Okay, so Y swaps to a different unit. X brings up stats. I probably won't end up actually using Drog. Jagan, I probably won't either. Gordon, I'm not sure, but maybe we'll use him. At the very least, we'll probably end up using these four. Alright, so if I go here, we got a thief, there's a sword. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, there is no weapon triangle. So wait, wait, wait. Attack of 14. Uh, you have 16 health. Oh. I gotta figure out. It looks like I'm gonna have to actually do something. Uh, what do we got in config? Sound, message, terrain, cursor, home. Oh, so, animation is just the. What the? What does real mean? The sound, that's fine. Message is fine. Terrain. Yeah, cursor. Some of that means. Okay, uh, who do I want to give the kill to? What do you have? Javelin? Let's save the Javelin. Yeah, let's hand it to Sheeta. Attack 10. So attack speed is 5, but. And your attack speed is 10. I probably would have been better off starting with Sheeta. Alright. Uh, what is up here? There's Jagan. Let's go ahead and let's see what's in here. Is it armory? What do we got? Oh, wait. Iron sword, iron spear, javelin, iron bow, iron axe. I have no money anyway. Is this still the case where Marth is the only one that can go into the villages? Yes, Marth is the only one that can go to villages. Alright. Prince Marth, please wait! This is what the villagers gathered up. All together, there's 5,000 gold! Please, use it to make preparations that rescued this country from the Galder Pirates. So, let's see. Oh! Okay, you have a Volinary. You have a Rapier. Supply? Oh, I see. Okay. We got a bunch of axes. But I saw it I saw a dismount function. Can I see what your range is? Is there any I can't see his range. So I would have to go in here, see the movements five. One, two, three, five. Attack there. That might work. So I'm gonna check something. Your weapon is currently the javelin, but you have an iron sword. 
if I go here, what if I dismount? Okay, you have a weapon. You have your iron sword. leave it at that. I will probably have you here. I don't know how much we'll actually use uh, uh, Gordon, but we'll have him here. I could probably just give Mark Jagan's Iron Sword. It's not like I need money at the moment. I forget, is there... I don't think there's any reason to go to these houses. I don't think there is. Well, might as well just bring Jake closer. If you're wounded, you can rest in forts. Yeah, it's just info that I don't need. Alright. Uh, that's everyone. And turn. And there we go. Let's see. Attack 12. Okay. I keep thinking, like, no, there's no weapon triangle. So why did I need to feel the need to dismount and go with the sword? I'm just used to a weapon triangle. I think weapon triangle was added... Wasn't it four or five when the weapon triangle was added? Either way, this one doesn't have it. I think if I remember how it actually works. It's about how... Uh... I'm sorry. Swords are the weakest, but they have the most accuracy. Lances are stronger, but have slightly less accuracy below the swords. But then, uh, then you have axes, who are which are the most powerful, but the least accurate. I think that's how it works. Six HP. Attack an eleven. What's your defense? Three. Yeah, we're fine. Go, Gordon. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not sure how much we'll use him, but might as well take an archer with me. All right. I think what I'll do is I'll have Abel. I think we'll bring you here. And I could go ahead and put you here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. Dragon can wait. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, you can save mid-map? Oh, okay. That's something I wasn't expecting. Yeah, go ahead and dodge. And he got the crit, too. What was it? 7% crit? I'll take that. That. Well, okay, to be fair, it's a 26% chance to crit. I think the rapier has a higher chance to crit as is. So that does make a difference. Now, based on uh, the DS version, no, based on the NES version, Marth, his level cap is 20. 
and he can't promote. And one thing I think I remember from the DS version. Like 10. Six damage, six not enough. One thing that I remember is that the AI just loves going after Marth. They love it. This, this uses up movement, though. I, oh, well. I never actually, I didn't actually pay attention to your stats. Uh, strength and speed. Uh, defense skill. They're both... Yeah, anyway. Let's go ahead and attack. And then we'll give Mark the KO, I guess. But yeah, I remember the NES version, the AI just loves going after uh, Marth. Because the AI is just like, well, if we take out Marth, that's a game over for the player. So let's get rid of Marth. And that's just a good way to bait the enemies. There we go. You even got a crit. I guess we can leave... We can leave Abel where he's at. I don't think it's hurting anything. One, two, three, four, five. But I could put you here. I'll put Gordon here. And you can go here just to block, I guess. Jagan... Just hang out nearby. And we'll have Abel just hang out where he's at, I guess. One thing I forget is if the DS version added Weapon Triangle or not. I am not sure. Because again, I think Weapon Triangle was added in either 4 or 5. of 10. You could probably attack twice. 7, 14. She can't get the kill. But maybe we'll have Gordon go ahead and weaken. Yeah, let's just attack. Again, I have no idea if I'm going to keep Gordon or not. Nice, right, Sheeta. Let's go ahead and attack. Go ahead and give yourself a KO. Alright. Now if we go... No, you know what? We'll leave you there. I'll let Kane go down here. We'll go ahead and... So that's an attack of 14. If I dismount, that's an attack of 12. Huh. Oh! Dismounting itself is an action. Well, I should have actually attacked. Oh well. I gotta get used to that. I thought I could back out. Nope, I was committed to it. Alright. Marth got a level. Strength, speed, and luck. Okay. HP and a weapon level. Weapon level is currently 7. 
Marth has seven movement? Holy... Wow. I mean, if he's not gonna promote, you might as well give him a bunch of movement. Right? Oh, I just kind of have Jagan nearby. I oh, don't know. Got a little bit more. Oh, yeah, we'll just let Abel do his thing. We'll let him fight the pirates. Or at least one of them. Also, another thing to keep in mind is I think swords are the lightest weight, so you are probably more likely to get a double. That sounds correct. So do I want to throw... Well, you know what? I think I'm going to send Kane up here and let him go ahead and attack. Okay, whatever, Kane. Whatever. Be that way. I guess we'll just let Abel hang out here. Marth can go ahead and start heading this way. I think he might need some health, right? Yeah. Sheeta will follow. Go ahead and we'll leave. Drog is going to follow them as well. Gordon is going to hang out here. That's going to start soon. Okay. And I guess Jagan will just hang out back here. Let's see. Is that it? Alright. Can enable you got this. Kane's gonna need some health, that's for sure. How's it going? It's going all right. All right, Hawkhorn Dog. What's going on in your end? This is a first playthrough of Fire Emblem Three. Well, kind of, I guess. We're doing book one, which I have played, you know, Shadow Dragon, DS, and most of Famicom, uh, NES version, so this part's not the new, is not the new playthrough, but, you know, you know what I mean, it, 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 FE3 is weird. FE3 is a weird one. Anyway, uh, okay, you need to heal. Uh, I'm sorry, Kane needs to heal. Let's see. I think we can have... Ooh, do we even want Gordon to attack? We need to heal. We don't. Oh, I think the ad was playing when you t when you message. Yeah, uh, it's going all right. How's it going on your end? It's a first playthrough of Fire Emblem 3, even though I have personally played Fire Emblem 1 a couple times, and we're basically doing, we're basically playing Fire Emblem 1 again. Because it's book one, you kind of have to. Oh, you're the Prince of Altea. It's like a dream to be able to see you. Oh no, now the ad's playing. This is Vulnary. This is a small gift from me. Please accept it. That's different. Uh, ads currently playing. <laughs> Got a minute left. Uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and, you know, toss some bombs. Because why not? Do that. Hmm. I gotta think. I'll probably move Evil down here. If 
chain here. Wait. We could have Gordon. I was going to that here and when the ad's done, 20 seconds. Because the ad's playing. Let's see. Uh, 10, 9. I'm trying to not do things when the ad plays now, unless it's like really boring. Like grinding, you know? Alright, ad's back. We're playing Dark Souls. How's that going for you? Let's go ahead and let Gordon. Uh... I gotta get used to this UI. Attack of 11, Defense of 3. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what would be best? We'll do this. We'll get rid of this one. Maybe 2 HP, EXP. Yeah, I gotta get used to, like, this whole UI right here. Have you go here and get rid of this guy. There we go. Go, Abel! And now I'll let Kane go ahead and stand here to get healed. Wait. Okay, his current defense is 7. Your attack is 13. But my avoid is better. Okay. I, you don't even have a Volner. So yeah, something that's different already from like Fire Emblem 1. We get a Volner here. Normally we get uh, a healer, right? I'm pretty sure we get a healer. So that's already different. And you know what? I'm gonna have Jagan here just to protect Gordon. I swear, if someone dies in Chapter 1, I'm going to be upset. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I figured that'd be the best move. 51% chance. And Kane's dead. Wow, Chapter 1, and we already have a reset. <laughs> uh, that is... That is sad. Where's the reset? Where's the reset? Reset again. There it is. Wow. That is sad. That is very sad. I could have had Jake in attack. I could have done that. I have to start all over. This is going great. <laughs> Super slow compared to Elden Ring. Just doing random stuff. You did a level up glitch. Now you're level 81. Oh no. <laughs> That's a fast level. Dumped all your points into HP, so you're in the I also found some heavy armor. So you're very slow. You're 16 strength. So you're doing no damage to bosses you should be fighting yet. Ouch. Ouch. You basically over leveled, but you don't have the strength to back it up. Interesting. Uh. So on my own, like, I finished Tales of the Abyss a, a while back, right? So I just kind of wanted to play a different game to uh, kind of widen down, I guess. And I'm, I'm thinking, of like, oh, what's in my backlog? What do I have? And I have Harvest Moon 64 on, like, I downloaded it on the Wii U. I'm like, you know what? Let's play Harvest Moon 64. And I'm playing it you know, on the computer, on, on the totally okay Nintendo PC. And, uh, I'm using Retro Achievements as well, but it's like, it's, it's, you know, I just kind of felt like I wanted something a little bit, uh, to wind down, if that makes sense. I can't believe I had to reset on Chapter 1. I don't think that has ever happened. <laughs> No weapon triangle, it does a lot to you. Also, maybe I shouldn't have uh, dismounted. 
thing I want to make the game too easy. And the level glitch is already doing something at least it's an HP. So you're like a chance seat. Oh no. You ain't killing me. I ain't killing you anytime soon. At least with Chansey, it has an okay special attack. You know? <laughs> so you can at least do something. Mark, you need to go here. And get some money. But yeah, I know that this game, uh, book one, has like five chapters removed. I'm not sure which ones. Uh... But I'm already seeing, already noticing a difference where this is where a healer would be, but now it's just a vulnerary. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Yeah, I booted up Harvest Moon 64. Felt like playing it. Try to hit some of that backlog. I'm now at the point where I'm in year two, year two where I don't have everything, but like I'm now more or less basically one. <laughs> Like, I have all the house upgrades. Now it's just, like, anything else for the house is, like, minor cosmetic stuff, right? Oh, I should have made you at least the... I probably should have had Able Dismount. Save that javelin for later. Uh... But, like, I have, like, max... Like, I have all chickens, and I have, like all eight cows, so it's like, well, uh, money's now not an issue anymore. <laughs> and I think I already, uh, I already got married in Harvest Moon, so, uh, that's all done. It's just like, and I still, and it's like s summer of year two, right? So, it's, it's got a little while before the technic like the technical and uh, beat the game sort of thing so yeah uh, <laughs> it's just like well now to just kind of rinse repeat until the game ends <laughs> kind of got through all of the annoying parts I think I'll go ahead and let she uh wait 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 your range your range is What's your movement? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you'll be fine. Cheetah, go ahead. Some Lance. Ten damage. You have attack speed of ten. Ten damage. Uh, seven. Fourteen. Okay, you're not getting a kill. Do I need to change the setting? I might need to change the setting. What's the difference between these settings, real and normal? I don't know what that means. You can choose a burial gift in front of the games. Basically, they are a... Uh, they are a free item you can choose to start the game. That's... With that... Separate... From your class. Uh... I don't know what that means. Sure, what that means. Wait, where's my? Okay, Mark's up here. I'm gonna go ahead and let Abel go ahead and go down here. Dismount, because I don't want him to use his javelin. And we'll just let him attack. But yeah, um, also, speaking of retro achievements, uh, for one, I just gonna reiterate, I do have Retro Achievements set up for this game. It's not gonna be the goal to, like, get every achievement for this game or anything. It's just more of like, hey, let's just see what I can get, you know? And by the end of it, we'll see all the achievements I ended up getting, you know? That's kind of the idea. Oh, 
I had, uh, just to show again. I have the page up, so yep. I think he's going after Marth. I think he's going after Marth. Okay, you went to Sheeta. Which I will survive. And with a crit, you know, we get the kill. It means you could choose an item that's not part of your class in Dark Souls. And I am the Firebomb's Life Ring for max HP. Grass, Homeward Bone, stuff that's nice to have, basically. Your new usually is suggested to take the Life Ring since you're going to follow the game set time. So it's more of like you could choose an item that you can't normally get to make things either easier or harder. I think I want Kane to go up here and wait for them. And he did not go after Marth. So it seems like the AI is different than in NES. If this was NES, that one bandit would have gone after Marth. Because the AI in NES is just like, oh, if we kill Marv, he gets. He, uh, there, that's the player's game over. You know what? Let's go ahead and sit in here. Abel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, if only- oh, man, I wish I could see the movement. I can't see the movement of my enemies. Oh, no, you have a movement of five. Five? One, two, three, four. five? I don't you get here. Okay, we can put Abel right here. We can put him right here. He currently has the iron sword. Alright. You know, this game adds the, you know, like this whole movement ring, but what it doesn't do is let me see what the enemy's movement is. It's like, it's like you did half of the stuff. It's like you're almost there. I just now want to see what the enemy's movement is. Alright, let's see how this goes. We are evolving very slowly, exactly. Oh yes, uh, but again, going back to retro achievements very quick, apparently, uh, GameCube is getting updated, like, today, like, later today, so GameCube is gonna get achievements, been waiting for it, now, because I've been in the mood to play some GameCube. been in the mood to play GameCube lately. GameCube is retro now. Exactly! Exactly, GameCube is retro. I did say GameCube PS2 are, you know, old enough to probably be retro. But here's the thing, anything after GameCube PS2... Achievements and, uh, gamer... What was it? Uh, it's like trophies and gamer score were, were a thing, so, yeah. I... I guess so. Granted, it was... It's just more of, like... Giving achievements to games that... You know... You know, achievements weren't a thing, right? So let's just add achievements to old games. So even when 
whenever PS3 and Xbox 360 technically become retro, they probably won't get achievements. Because those those systems already had achievements and stuff like that added in to begin with. You know what? Um, what's your movement? Five, one, two, five. Five? Yes. So I think you can go here. Attack is 11. Defense is 3. Exactly. Exactly the right amount. There we go. Oh, yeah. GameCube's getting achievements later today. And you want to know what one of the sets is coming out today? I, at least I'm pretty sure it will be today. Path of Radiance. Path of Radiance is already getting a set. So that's... That's something. We can leave... We can put it here. It's fine. But yeah, probably gonna play some GameCube on my own time. Been in the mood to play some GameCube stuff. Okay. Monkey, you got this. Yay, you dodged. Kate's counterattack. Uh, if only this is a little slow. I'm already feeling the slow speed of, I guess, the in-battle animations, even though they do look okay. I think that's the best way to describe it, is okay. Because the in-battle animations is basically just a natural evolution of, you know, the first two games. I think genealogy and Thracia look a lot better. We have 12 HP. Gotta be a little careful. Let's try this again. Let's see, your attack is 11. I already can't KO. Your attack speed is 0. Yeah, I already can't KO. What if I have she... No, you know what, what, wait. Drog. Attack 14. So we'll deal 10 damage, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I'll let, go ahead and let you weaken the enemy. Yes, 2 damage. Drog is the tank. That will probably only stay for a little bit. Alright, Gordon, you got this. Perfect. If only the UI was a little bit better. I have to glance at, like, what I'm gonna do. Like, every... Like, I can't just jump in and look for, like, specific symbols. Let's put you here. Like, okay, I have to be... Okay, you have an attack of ten. Now I gotta look here. I uh, you have a defense of three. You know, hmm. So seven damage. But then I need to go back here and do this again. You have attack speed of six. I will double. See the problem with this? <laughs> there we go. Now mark the new ceiling. Alright, and we'll go ahead and let you mount back up again, so we have more movement. Shira, you also need health, so let's go ahead and let you heal on the fort. And Kane has the other fort handled. He's fine. 
But yeah, this is the last Fire Emblem game that I have personally never played. So that's why I wanted to tackle this. Get it off the backlog. And then any Fire Emblem game afterwards is more or less, like, known to me. Again, unless you count something like, technically I didn't, I haven't played Gaiden before, but I played Shadows of Valentia, so I don't know how you want to count that. Exactly this, the right amount of damage. Go Kane, you got this. He still got this. Gordon, let's see. HP of 11, but your attack is 11, he has defense. Yeah, we'll just let Kane handle it. He's fine. He's fine. You at full health? You're at full health. Let's move you... Let's move you up here in the mountains. No one can reach you. It's your... We'll go ahead and set you here. Let you heal up. Marth, go ahead and go to the village and grab a Volinary. Jagan, just kind of chill. Kind of chill. There we go. I f so, does the DS remake of Shadow Dragon, does it have Weapon Triangle, or do they not have Weapon Triangle? I forget. Kane got speed, luck, and a weapon level. So I think weapon level is a little bit weird. If I remember correctly about the NES version, weapon level is tied to your job class, I think. And it doesn't move up. Or it doesn't increase until you get promoted and then whatever's left is what your weapon level is. And it basically determines what weapons you can use. Uh, but now it seems like weapon level is an actual stat that levels up with you. And that's new. And I find that weird. I wonder how much that changes things. Definitely gonna want Marth to heal. Kane, go ahead and head up here. Abel. I can have Abel start attacking. With the javelin. Let's see. Attack of 14. Attack of 14. So 11. Alright. Yeah. Well, yeah, another thing with Retro Achievement, uh, so they're adding, they're adding it to the Dolphin emu emulator, right? And, uh, Dolphin is able to play Wii games as well. So, eventually, we'll probably see some achievements for Wii games, potentially. Granted, most people are focused on GameCube at the moment. Uh, I don't think these three move. gonna try it right attack of 11 defense of 3 hold on steal okay okay 14 you still have a defense of 3 so yeah you get the KO hey twink how's it going I I sometimes see PS3, Wii, and 360 games in retro category, but the worst is the Wii U games starting to appear when they say it's over 10 years old. That's retro. No, 10 years old is not retro to me. Uh, you know what's worse when I see in the retro category? I've seen Breath of the Wild in retro. I'm like, no. No. Look, I don't... I, I feel like the retro category is a gray area to me. Like, what, what should go in here and what shouldn't? 
I don't know. Breath of the Wild shouldn't be in there. I think we can agree on that, right? <laughs> can we all agree that Breath of the Wild shouldn't be in the retro category? <laughs> No, I feel like for something to be retro, it also needs to be nostalgic, right? And 10 years old is not enough to be nostalgic. Like, I don't feel nostalgia for the Wii U. I just feel old realizing, oh, it's 10 years old. It makes me feel old. It doesn't make me feel nostalgic. The Wii... It's not there yet, but it, I would say it's close. Actually, what if I... Yeah, Wii's not nostalgic yet to me. But I feel like it'll get close. Game, uh, GameCube and PS2. I feel like it is at the nostalgia factor right now. And if not, it is like on that, on that line of being nostalgic. I, th I feel like with GameCube PS2, now the question is, is it the entire system that's retro, or is it a game-by-game -game basis? But yeah. I think, I think it's safe to say PS2, GameCube, probably original Xbox, uh... And Dreamcast. No, wait. Dreamcast is counted. At, uh, Dreamcast is a weird one. But all of those, I would say, is considered retro. Like, I'm nostalgic for Wii games because I played them as a little kid. Right. W again, Wii is... It's kind of in that weird section, though. Like, to me. And I think in Wii's case, it might be a game-by-game -game basis. I don't think the Wii as a whole is nostalgic yet. I don't know how much longer it will take for it to happen, but it's getting there. You don't think GameCube is retro yet? You think over 20 years minimum? Are you kidding? GameCube is already over 20 years. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door is already 20 years. And that came out in 2004. GameCube was 2001. GameCube is over 20 years old. Same thing with PS2. By your accounts, it is retro. Super Smash Bros. Melee came out in 2001. It is old enough to drink. <laughs> The GameCube is old, has been old enough to drink for a few years. Like, probably a good three years. Okay, let's see. Gazak. Uh, we'll probably just have Marth do most of the fighting here. But I think I'll weaken with Gordon and Abel, probably. Uh, attack of 10. Yeah, but attack speed of 6. Uh, we're talking 5 damage. You're we talking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Time flies, you know what I mean? Time very fl Time flies. I think we'll go ahead and let Gordon. Can't wait, can you weaken? Can you even weaken? Yeah, 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 you can. We'll just let you use iron weapons uh, for now. We'll have you start weakening. What? Altian army. If we let you guys walk all over us, it would ruin the name of us pirates. Die! I see an ad is playing. Oops. I didn't catch it at the time. I'll let the ad play. We'll probably let. Okay, hold on. Who should get a Volinary? Sheeta. I know I will use you. Can we... Trade? Trade, there we go. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, 
30 seconds left. Uh, Sheeta has a Volinary. Let's see. 15 seconds. Do I want... Okay, wait. Do I want you... 84... For 10 damage? Hmm. You're level 2. You're level 2. I think I'll just let Mark go ahead and stand here. Do I want him to attack? Um... Marth, you have eight, uh, 17 HP right now. What is your defense? Seven, okay. Defense of seven. Where is that? It's not on here. Okay. Defense of seven. Her attack is 14. So seven. Okay, yeah. Mark will be fine. Mark will be fine. Retro category on Twitch is weirder than what makes a game retro. Yeah, probably. Uh. Oh, miss Mark. That's fine. Uh, I do find it interesting that the retro category technically isn't a, like, an official retro category. It was modified from a PS2 game that is called retro, but then everyone just uses it as a retro category. If the game has a dedicated following, you should probably stream the category. That's... it's weird. Like... Like, I currently have it set up in retro. But that's more of, like, I don't know what the right answer is. Because both count. This is retro. But I could put it in the actual game. But, like, I don't know where it should count. Both are technically correct. Let's just give you the level. I don't know what the right answer is. At what point, what, uh, how big should the base game beat for it to uh for me to be like okay no it should just go in the category of uh, 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 the original game category Ugh, how oh yeah mark has to seize the castle uh can i trade weapons over weapon trade there we go do that do that perfect now Marth has an iron weapon. We can use that for a little while. Um, what if I trade over to Abel? Give you the silver? He can use it? Hold on. He can use the silver? Weapon level 7. Is there a way I can check... Higher attack speed, way higher at uh, attack. I don't know what the weapon level is, but so far, Abel can actually use the Silver Lance. That's insane. But, like... Hold on, I'll explain my thoughts here after when we start the next chapter. Oh, Prince Marth, I'm glad to see you're safe. We are all very grateful for your actions. Is that so? You finally... You're finally heading out to Aureus. In that case, I'll send some soldiers to aid you. These men, led by Captain Ogma, are all brave warriors. I'm certain they'll help you in battle. Before you go, I have some important advice for your highness. From now on, during your highness's travels, you will surely find many people who despise the Delu uh, Delunian Empire. Some of them are hiding in villages, while others have been captured by enemies. They may, there may even be some that, are, that have been forced to work for Doluni, Doluna. Find these people, and fighting together with them is crucial. Do you understand me, Prince Marth? Well, the time has come. You must be determined to, uh, during your journey. Good luck. Yeah! So... Again, we didn't get the healer. Wait, was the healer in one of those houses and not in the village? Well, I'm gonna keep going, but... I'm gonna keep going. I thought, like, the healer was in the... Depends on if you want to grow, if you want to grow. 
Link to the Past, Earthbound, Chrono Trigger, FE4, and 5 have more dedicated fans that belong in the category. A game that is more niche should go in retro. I do agree, but I can't really tell all the time. I can't always tell when it should go in the category. I do think, though, that maybe something specific, like if you're playing a ROM hack of a game, or if maybe if... Uh, so if you're playing like a Chrono Trigger ROM hack, maybe it should go in the category just so it doesn't get mixed in. There's no wrong answer, it's just multiple right ones. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, <clears throat> Across the shore from the Kingdom of Towers is Galder Port. For a long time it has been a poor but peaceful port town. One day it was suddenly attacked by a pirate gang and has since become the base. From the Galder Port, Marth uh, begins the first steps to liberating his homeland. I do think that Link to the Past would probably, it is for sure big enough to go in the category of Link to the Past and not in Retro. Because plenty of people look up Link to the Past stuff. Especially, oh, here's a better example. Uh, if you do something like Randomizer for like Link to the Past, it's probably a good idea to just go to Link to the Past. I, the way I see the Retro category is almost like a almost like your channel surfing like if you're trying to find something on netflix you're trying to find something on tv but you don't know what you want to watch so you just boot uh, you just boot it up and you scroll through and see what you can find that's how i see it trade let's see can you trade with yourself that's how i view it Well, what is select? Ah, uh, there we go. Well, that's all I can take with me anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll make a save. And... start? You map? How do I start this? Where are we? Down here? Oh, it doesn't show. I guess I made a save. I have all seven with me, view map. How do I start this? I'm pressing every button. Um, I don't know what's wrong. Why can't I start this? What's wrong? Uh, a bug? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Twink, you you played this right. What am I doing wrong? What button do you usually start a, uh, a new map? Items. Please choose units. No, just hard. No, we don't want that. Select. This is already a little confusing. Because if I go on a map, I could just look at everyone, that's fine. Just... What am I doing wrong? Am I doing anything wrong? I'm pressing every button. Um, I don't know what, okay, hold on, let me try resetting, let me try that, I technically made a save, let's see, restart chapter, yes,
It's just gonna do this. Yeah, okay. Press start, that skips the text. Select. What's wrong? Second, let me check something. Let's do that. Does it just not like someone not having a weapon? What if I take Jake and now. Happening. Why can't I continue? <laughs> I actually do need help here. I don't know what's wrong. I have no clue what's going on. I don't... I don't know why nothing's happening. Well, let me check uh, something. Input config? It's the select button on something. Hold on. Okay, yeah, the select button was already on, on that. That's fine. I don't understand. Every button is currently... Um, can I even... <laughs> okay, well, um... Time to look something up. Fire Emblem... Three. How to start a chapter. Something's... Uh, something's not right. Thanks, Internet. It's like, oh, you just need to... We can search for three houses. Yeah, I know. And every time I'm looking up something, uh, it's basically saying something along the lines of, here's the list of chapters. It's like, thanks. That's not what I need. That is not what I need. Such as battery ramp save. It has the dismount command. It's not what I need. Version difference says no nope. characters, no. Nope. Not what I need. Chapters, classes, research, and remake. No. Nope. I don't know what's wrong. Let's see. Pressing start. Pressing select, up, down, left, right, X, Y, A, B, L, R. That's all the Super Nintendo has. But... Oh, there we go. You have to go to... Sel you have to go to the select units and press start. Okay. Not clear at all. I wonder if the manual actually told you how this is how it worked. Anyway. <clears throat> Fritzmarth, I am Agma, a Talus mercenary. 
I have been ordered by my king to join your army, along with my three subordinates. This is Galdor Port, which is currently ruled by pirates. The Grostian army has also come to defeat your highness. Surely early fire emblem Exactly. It really is an early fire emblem. No matter what happens, please be cautious. Okay, well, um... That threw me off. What do we got? Ogma. I really like using Ogma. I'm bringing him in. We got Cord. We got Board. And we got Barst. I think if I take an Axe user, I usually take Barst. Do we want to take an Axe user with us? Or do we just want to bench them all? But for now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set... Uh, Agma here. We currently have the Iron Sword equipped. Let that be. Jagan. Uh, who did... Jagan, let's go ahead and give your Silver Lance... Go ahead and give that over to Abel. Oh, that was items I need. Weapon trade. This is a little weird. Not fully used to everything. Alright. No healer! I feel like I messed up. Um... I need to get all the way over there. Okay. I think it will be a good idea if Sheeta hangs out here. I'm gonna have Marth head this way. I'll let... I'll let Kane follow. Help guard Marth. I'll go ahead and let Gordon follow Marth as well. Abel can hang out here. He has a javelin. You go this way. And I guess Cord and Board will head over here. I think I'll keep Barst. Here? Maybe? He has a hand axe. Yeah, we'll keep him here. Alright. But yeah, I do think that there needs to be some sort of unification in the categories. Uh, so right now, like, what we were talking about, Twink, was like, it's hard, it's already hard to tell whether or not you should put a game in the retro category or in, in its own game category. It's so hard to tell sometimes. But I want to bring something else up that I do think is a bigger problem. When I was playing through Dragon Quest 1 and 2 Super Nintendo uh, a couple months ago, I ran into an issue where not only is there retro and Dragon Quest 1 to consider, there's Dragon Quest 1 NES category, there's Dragon Quest, like, later versions. There's Dragon Quest Mobile. There's Dragon Quest 1 and 2 SNES. There's Dragon Quest 1 and 2 Game Boy categories. Do you see the problem here? <laughs> At what point, you have to ask, what category should it go into when there's ten of them to consider? Um... You know what? Let's throw... Kane up here to guard. Marth can hang out here. Uh, a, an easy example to consider is when you want to watch someone play Street Fighter 2, but you have to check a category for every version of Street Fighter 2. That kind of gets annoying, doesn't it? Because every release of Street Fighter 2 has a category. I mean, granted, I haven't looked and see if that's actually the case, but you're kind of getting my point. That gets annoying after a while. You don't want to check them all. Actually, let's go ahead and throw you here. I can focus on... Because my mindset is, if you are in the mood to watch someone play Street Fighter 2, do you really care which version it is? Or do you just want to watch someone play any version of Street Fighter 2? 
And if you are someone that wants to just watch any version of someone playing Street Fighter 2 at all, you have to check a category. You have to check like a good, what, eight categories when you count retro as well? It gets tedious after a while. You know what? I think I'm gonna have you dismount. I'm gonna have you go over here. Oh no, maybe I should have gone silver lights. Oh well. So, one idea I thought of, especially during that, when I was playing Dragon Quest 1 and 2, one thing I thought of was, what if there was a... So you have your normal Dragon Quest categories, right? Let's just say, let's just make it simple. Let's just say there's one Dragon Quest 2 category, and there's a Dragon Quest 1 category, so on and so forth. What if there was a... Dragon Quest series category, right? <clears throat> As someone who streams, you cannot put a game into that category. You still have to pick a Dragon Quest game. Or, I should say, you know what? We're playing Fire Rumble. Let's use Fire Rumble as the example. Uh, so, I, so if I'm playing Fire Emblem 3, I should put the game in the Fire Emblem 3 category. I do not have an option to put it in Fire Emblem series category. What the Fire Emblem series category does, should do, is take any game from a list of X categories. So in Fire Emblem's case, it would just pick, you know, Fire Emblem 1, 2, 3, and just find, uh, just anything, any game, any stream that's playing in any of those categories. It has them also go into this, uh, to that category. Oh, right. Okay. Castor. Forgot. So, if you are someone that just wants to watch someone play Fire Emblem, but you're not too picky about which game, and you don't want to check, what, there are 16 different games to check for tabs for, not counting retro? You could just check the Fire Emblem series category, and it will show you any person playing a Fire Emblem game and from one of the other categories. Almost like, almost like, if you were to set this to, like, Netflix or just regular TV, it's like going to a Fire Emblem-specific channel versus trying to find a Fire trying to find a specific Fire Emblem movie, if that makes sense. If we were to use TV as, a, as the example here. I think that would be a better idea. Because it kind of... It, it, sometimes it's kind of hard to make a decision about what, what game should go where. And you know what? Some people just want to watch some uh, someone play a very specific game. Right? That category is still there. You can still do that, but it's all. But you can also find the same stream by ch checking through Fire Emblem series category. And again, as like the streamer, you cannot pick specifically to, for the stream to only go there. It's just more of a. It has the. It can also be seen from that category. All oh, right. See, uh, Sheeta needs to talk to Caster. I forgot. Can Bars? No, he can't. Oh, that's Abel. That's right. Ooh. I'm already in danger. This ain't good. Okay. Someone needs to go... I'm not used to no weapon triangles, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna equip. I'm gonna go here. I am going to mount. If I use the silver lance, can I get any kill? 21 attack. We can just get this kill. I think it's a good idea to just have a game series category for anyone to just glance through. 
will just show anyone that's playing that particular... anything in that particular series. I'm gonna set you here to block the archer. Not that it really matters. Get rid of you. Really? You missed a 90? Thanks, Barst. Okay. Um, yeah, I just need to make sure no one dies. And no one attacks him. Marth, uh... Wait, what's the difference? Okay, you have Knight Effectiveness with the Rapier. Uh... One less attack speed, that's not bad. Way less crit- You know what? Yeah, Marth's is actually not bad. Level 3, Strength of 1... Well, Marth better dodge the archer. <laughs> I just... He should have been healed. Okay, actually... Rescue's not a thing, is it? Nope, rescue is not a thing. Um... Okay, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Wait... Go ahead and get the KO. Wait, hold on. How level are you? You're two. How much should I really prioritize Gordon? I don't know. You know what? We could give Gordon a KO. Because I can let Kane go to the front line. It's not a big deal. Again, I think the whole, like, series channel is a good idea, but... And I think it would give a better chance for smaller streamers to maybe get noticed, but then again, maybe not. Like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you're still probably better off mounted. Anyone else? Jagan? Jagan has no weapons anyway. But, because he has no weapons, maybe he can distract someone. And just be a shield. Come on, Kane, you got this. Yeah, one more attack will do it. One more attack will do it. Is there really only one fort? Thank you, Kane, for the crit. Oh, he's gonna get attacked by the archer, isn't he? He's getting attacked by the archer. And we are talking... Kane dying again. Okay. That's a reset. Do I need the death counter back? Do I need to bring the death counter back? I didn't plan on it, but do I need it back? <laughs> I've already died two times already, and it's all Kane's fault. Well, time to set that back up. Silver. Save. Alright. Play opening. No. Ah, the game remembers that I died and saw the intro. That's nice that it gives me the option to skip. Alright. I still. Okay. Cheetah needs to go this way. 
I'm still gonna have Marth go this way. I'm gonna have... Ford and Cord over here. I'm gonna go ahead and let... We're gonna send... Abel over here instead. I guess I could let Agma stay here. We don't need to follow neck them, do we? Especially since some of them could just walk on water anyway. Bars hangs out here. Drog will hang out nearby. Same with Jagan. Just in case there needs to be a shield. And Gordon's going over here. Alright. There's only one fort nearby. So if I need healing... That's it. And you know what? I now want to look at chapter one. Like, did I actually miss that healer? Or was that actually taken out? I, I'm not going to reset, but now I want to know. It's just saying the removed chapter. This is just saying the removed chapters are from Shadow Dragon. All prologue and side quest chapters were in the game. Makes sense. Uh, new chapters added. New. Oh no, that's new mystery of the emblem. So what? I just need to look at a list of Shadow Dragon chapters. Okay, I'm looking at a list of... Okay, how do you get... How do you get this character? By visiting the village to the west. But I didn't... He is not in Fire Emblem 3. Okay, good thing I double-checked. So yeah, they did take him out. One of the few characters removed from Mystery Emblem, although he was reinstated in the DS remakes. Okay. That's what I really wanted to double check. Getting rid of a healer. Wow, this actually changes uh, a little bit, doesn't it? Abel, you go right ahead and stand here. It's not hurting anything. Uh, what weapon do we want? Jab uh, silver. Marth can hang out down here. I want Cheetah close by. Gordon, go ahead right here. Let me do this. Close. Alright. You've been hit. You haven't. So, I want Kane to focus on you. Try to get rid of the thief. Because you're going to be annoying. So yeah, dismounting is now an option, but it makes me wonder if it's even worth it, because Weapon Triangle doesn't exist. If Weapon Triangle existed, I think this... I could see more use out of it. But I think when he's on a horse, there's way more uses out of being on the horse than there is being dismounted. Uh, what are we looking at? Attack of 11. Yeah, you, you'll get the KO. I think dismounting is more useful if there is, like, a, uh, horse slayer. 
I think that's when it would be useful. going after Marth 2. But I know the AI isn't as uh, exploitative as with NES. Level 3, skill, luck, HP. Alright. Castor. Alright. Ah, uh, forgive me, Sheeta. I must find gold. And Marth already needs healing. Okay, Ogma's being attacked again. Let's see how this goes. Oh, good, you dodged. Perfect. Getting lucky on some of these dodges and crits. Yeah, hand axe doesn't have good accuracy. Okay. Cheetah. Talk. Castor! Yo, Castor! Why are you doing this? Ah, uh, Sheeta, I'm sorry. My mother fell ill. I must find gold to buy medicine for her. So you joined the pirates? I see. Well, have some gold here. I have some gold here. Take it to buy medicine for your mother. Huh? Can you help a traitor like me, Sheeta? Please forgive me. I, Sheeta, I will lend my life to you. Just that simple. Recruit Castor. Got an achievement for that. Alright. I need to be careful. What is your movement? You have a movement of six. Ooh, okay. Do you, you have a movement of five. Five. I can move Abel here, then. Get him in range. Five. Over here, we're gonna let Kane go ahead and work on this one. Work on the thief. Thief's more annoying. Good. Okay. Uh, Barst, go ahead and attack the archer. Not hurting anything. Yeah, they literally just took Fire Emblem 1 and be like, oh, let's just make the graphics look better. This, you know, it's 1994. HP. Okay. Alright. Um, you can stay. You can stay. I am definitely for sure not using Castor. Even though you are at a higher level already. Strength of 5 skill. Oh, Castor actually has more strength. Skill 4, speed of 6. Speed of 4, luck of 5. 3, weapon level 6. Castor is stronger, but Gordon has more defense and skill. But you have more attacking speed. Okay. Wait. You're an archer. You're a hunter. Ah, there's the difference. 
is Archer and Hunters just one one has more attack and speed, one has more defenses? Wait, um... What's the final job class they go into? I'm okay with looking this up. Check uh, job classes. Because it, uh, it's a little bit weird. Let's see. I want. So Archer becomes a sniper. Hunter becomes a horseman. That's what it was. They are just completely different. Okay. So. But horsemen can dismount back into a hunter in case we need to get off the horse. So what's the benefit of a sniper versus a horseman? Because honestly, it seems like horseman is probably better. I have a feeling if I'm going to use an archer, it might actually be cast one. I also like the idea of attacking speed a little bit more. Trade over. Let's go ahead and give you the steel. We're gonna hand it to Castor. Bring it over here. Let's go ahead and have not items. I gotta get used to this UI. Yeah, if I'm gonna use an archer, I think Castor is better, maybe. Over here, everything's fine. Everything's fine. What's up? Oh, yes. Go ahead and attack Abel. You will survive this, I swear. Ah, he did survive. Wasn't able to attack twice. Archer's running away, that's good. Oh, right, the hand axe. Does he have more of an evade when he's on the water? Already almost at the point where I want to turn off animations. Normally I like watching these, but like, my god. This is already very slow. Okay. Ogma desperately needs healing. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and let Barst grab this KO. is nine, your defense is seven. If you get hit by him, we are okay. Yeah. I can let you attack. What's your accuracy? A hundred? Okay, so I could just give Ogma the KO. You're level three, you're level two. I could just hand it to Kane. I might hand it to Kane. Agma backs out so we can get some healing. In. I really gotta shake off the weapon triangle. <laughs> I'm so used to it. I'm so used to the fact that there's a weapon triangle. You know what? Just to protect Agma, we'll do. Um, I'll go ahead and let 
Castor attack. There we go. Okay. I can let... Oh yeah, the, there's the other four. We can heal there. I think I can let Mark attack. Or get attacked. Wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. What's your defense? Seven. Your attack is... Five damage if Marth gets hit. He can survive. He can survive. And we'll go ahead and let Abel run up here. Grab the KO. Grab the KO. 21. Mm. Weaken. Not get the KO, but get dang close. Maybe I should have equipped the jab away. Oh well. Alright. We should definitely give him an iron lance. I'll go ahead and let Wait, what about Sheeta? We can let Sheeta fight. Nah, for right now we'll let Marth uh, stand here. Go ahead. Uh, what do we got at the shop? for now. An iron, iron sword, an iron lance, iron bow, axe, steel axe, and a hand axe. No, we're just gonna wait there. No, we're just gonna wait there. Let's bring Sheeta close. Fine, let's end it. Go after Marth. Do it. Go after him. Okay. Yeah, no high chance to crit, but we're okay. Ah, you're running all the way to the fort. Use your hand axe. Wow, that's a whole three damage. That's scary. Alright. Uh, can Sheeta get the KO? Uh, I got, I gotta pay attention here. Ten damage, but you probably can double. Three, six, seven. Yeah, she, she can. Not in one hit, but she can. Sheeta, you need a level. Level 2, skill, speed, and luck. Maximum HP. Alright. Uh, can anyone make it? Of course you can make it to the Archer Castor. Nope. And Marth. Nope. Alright. I'm just gonna have you go ahead and you know what, let's just have you dismount. Have you use your iron sword. Might as well not waste the other two lances. Okay. Marth, you go ahead and head up here. You have iron axes, you're good. You have an iron bow, you're good. Just steal from you because I don't think I'm gonna use Gordon. You back out. Agma, what? What are we looking at? Twelve. Yeah, not enough. Not enough. Um, Kane. I, I, attack of fourteen. So we're talking eleven damage. What's your attack speed? One, not enough to double. 
you're level five. Okay, Farce, can we weaken? Let's just try it. Let's go ahead and give Kane this KO. Good. Yay, level up. Level three. Skill, luck, and weapon level. Alright. We'll go ahead and let Agma get healed up. Trial, you're... You're good. You're good. Uh, okay. Um... What's next? I guess we'll just bring you closer and out of the way. Sure, let's visit. What do you have to say? Eh, unneeded weapons and items can go... can be stored in the supply wagon. You want to take the back out, just post pr Prince Marth. That might have been a new feature. I don't I don't remember there being a supply in Fire Emblem 1. Could be wrong. Though. Those three aren't moving. Okay. Oh no, you're moving, okay. This might be bad. Nah, Abel can survive this. And there's more of Void here. Ouch. And we got a crit. It was like, ah, oh, you hit me! Ugh! Get out of here! Ah, oh, he's so close to a level. So close. Alright. That was barely anything. Yeah, we'll let Ogma get healed. Let's check the village. As citizens of Altea, please rescue Sister Lena. Miss Lena helped cure the poor and sick. However, she didn't heed our warning and went to the dreaded ghoul's teeth. We, uh, we haven't seen her since. They, they way, they way Miss Lena treated us was like that of an angel. Please, you must rescue her. For this, we have gathered 3,000 gold. We, we will leave Miss Lena to you. We got more money. Alright. Uh, you're almost at a level. You're already level 3. I'll go ahead and let Abel go to KO. Get out of here. Level 3, strength, speed, weapon, resistance, and maximum HP. Alright. Uh, Castor, just kind of hang out over here. This guy's not going to move. Ford, sure, hang out here. Do we want to give Sheeta an Iron Lance? Okay, the Slim Lance has no, like, pot. There's no effectiveness here. I think, uh, in the remake, there's, like, a whip. Oh, she gets, like, a wing lance or something that's exclusive to her that's, like, a rapier. That's right. That's why I'm being confused. Yeah, you know what? Let's give her an iron. Yeah. Very cheap. There we go. Again, Gordon, you don't need anything. We're not going to give Gordon Cord anything. I can always take another Lance out of Drow if I need to. Um, 
Farce can weaken. Or just kill. That's fine. It's fine. He's level 6 now. Strength, speed, weapon, defense, max HP. I might keep Barst. I usually like using him, but he's like the only axe user user I take with me. What's your HP at? 10? Yeah, you stay there. Um... Stays to heal up. Jagan can hang out there. Okay. Attack of 22, defense of 6, so we're talking 16 damage, okay, my attack speed is 2, you need a difference of 4 to double, what's his attack, his attack is 12, my defense is... I'm gonna have Abel stand right here and we'll let him be attacked. Marth, go ahead and stand here and get healed. Caster will probably go ahead and uh, attack next turn. Okay. Ogma, you're fully healed? Sure. We'll just have you start moving. Something first. I could have had you move. Alright. I could have had Barst moving. Don't underestimate the Galder Pirates! Taste my hand axe! Ooh, I'm so scared. This does mean Caster would actually get a hit. That's big damage. That is big damage. Another ad already. Wow. Hold on. What do we got? Attack of 13. Defense of six, so we're talking seven damage. Not enough to get a KO. Steel, attack of 16. Still an attack of 10. Not enough to KO. But we could give the kill to someone else. What if we give the kill to Sheeta? Let me look. If we went with the Iron Lance, we have two more attack power. Um, attack speed of zero. So I will still double. Oh. 
I think I'll still get the KO. Yeah, I would still get the KO. Six defense. I deal six damage. I will attack again. Yeah, okay. L let me double check. Attack at 12. Your defense is seven. That's five. Yeah, we're good. Sheet is good. Let's go ahead and use the iron. Okay, adds back. Uh, I did the math. Sheeta can double with the Iron Lance and should still get the KO. If she hits both times. That's the real, the real factor. Because she dodged. Yay, go Sheeta. Go, Marcel. He had a steel. Sheeta took the steel. Steel what? To think there could be such a foe. Oh, a steel sword. Okay, we could give that to Marth. Abel, you go right ahead and trade. We're gonna go ahead and give you the normal Iron Lance thing. Marth. Uh, steel? Yeah, there we go. Marth can use a steel sword. Perfect. Seize. Your Highness, thank you very much for chasing off the pirates. Now we can finally live in peace once again. To reach Aureus from here, you must cross the ghoul's teeth. Ghoul's teeth. Please be careful. The ghoul's teeth are ruled by the soothsire gang of bandits. They have raided villages and ambushed travelers. They're a fearful bunch. Especially that bodyguard, Nab Nabaro. Nabaro? Hmm. Who, who has a frightening sword arm. I sincerely hope that you, your journey is safe. Is he talking about Navar? I think he's talking about Navar. Traveling from the frontier regions to, Arcane uh, to Arcanea, Marth's biggest challenge has appeared. The Samsuth Peak is steeped, is a steep mountain that divides the peninsula into northern and southern regions. Since some unknown time, bandits made it their base, and they've started attacking nearby villages and travelers. Raids, kidnaps, settling, setting fires, their crimes are known to many. In fear, the people called the mountain the Ghoul's Teeth. And they called those gathered at Sam Sooth the Demonic Synthesizers. We can wait. Can we actually have everyone here? Wow, we can. Not that it's needed though, but we'll take everyone. We'll take everyone with me for now. Um, my main ones right now are Marth, Kane, Abel, Sheeta, Agma, probably Barts, and I guess we'll go Castor. Gordon, Drog, Jaden, Cord, and Board, I think, are going to be benched eventually when we get better units. But for now, uh, let me go ahead and. Let's see. Iron. Iron, we're good, we're good. Any trading? I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we're fine. Let's make a save. Select start. There we go. Hurry! Miss Lena, if you aren't quick, we'll both be finished. I heard the Altian knights have arrived towards the south. Altian. Altian, I gotta get them. Now's our chance to escape. Please hang on. You can do it. I'm sorry, but I still haven't found my precious men's staff. Julian! 
forget about me and flee yourself. If it's just you, I can teleport you away safely with my warp staff. How, how is that going to help? Don't you understand why I betrayed them in the first place? But anyway, I'll find that staff later. For now, just make our escape. Hurry, go! Alright, do we have- we have direct control of them. Julian's a thief, he has the- he has a door key. Can thieves actually do it? Oh, there's Navarre. There's Navarre. And he has a killing edge, ooh. Can thieves actually do anything? Can they actually steal? I don't think they can. And if I remember correctly, Navarre... Lena needs to talk to Navarre. Right? I think that that sounds right. Can she heal? Who, who has the men's staff? Is there a way to tell? There it is. The boss has it. Okay. And Volinary. So is this guy just gonna drop the Volinary, or do I have to steal it? I forget how this works. Or if it's different. Whatever. Okay, so... Marth needs to go to the village. He's gonna head this way. Let's see. I think I need to send at least either either Kane or Abel. I'm not sure. We'll send Abel. We'll send Abel. He has the steel lance. But for now, let's go ahead and equip the iron just so I don't waste the steels. Um archers. I think I'll send Kane to back Marth up. I will send... I'll send Castor to back Marth up. And I think it will just be these three. Where's Barst? Which one's Barst? Barst, you go right ahead and start heading up there to back, up, back them up. Same thing with Ogma. Gordon, sure, you're here. Again, what? I, I don't know what real animation means. I just want to look it up. Oh, um, Sheeta. I guess we'll have Bored and Cord go with Marth, but they're more here for bodies, not necessarily to be actually helpful. Jagan, same thing. Just to kind of be here to potentially be a wall. Take a second before we can reach Navarre. Granted, if I was able to kill this thief and then have Lena go ahead and oh she can't reach anyway. She can't reach. I think it will be best. Julian? What's this? Mountains. Mountain. Is that just a weird visual glitch? Huh. Julian, I don't think you're useful. Let's head down here. 
Lena, you need to hang out, like, right here. And then we're gonna have Abel go ahead and wait here. Okay, so you have seven movement, you won't make it. So we'll hang out here. And as a just a case, let's get Ogma here. Burst. That should be fine. Sheeta's here for backup. Marth! Go to the village. Oh, ho ho! You're looking very lively, young lad. It is an easy task to reach a place like this. I will reward you with this axe. What do you think? Looks impressive, no? However, this devil's axe is a cursed axe that draws blood from its user. It would be best not to use it at all. Then why don't you give me it? Well, that's going directly into the supply. I don't... I, I, no, I'm good. I'm good. Alright. Pain, you go right ahead. Castor, you start heading that way. I think we follow the roads. We technically get a little bit more out of the movement. Who's left? No, we're, we're fine. Alright. Oh, you're running away. Thieves are running away. Why? That's fine, though. I think we're okay with that, because if I am correct, Lena doesn't talk to Navar. Who talks to Navar? Is it Sheeta? Yes, it's Sheeta. Okay. Swordfighter Navar! Why would a person like you become a bodyguard to for these bandits? Who are you? I have no business with women or children. Get out of here. Please, stop this unnecessary fighting and lend your strength to us. If you're unwilling, you can cut me down with your sword right now. I won't point my sword at a woman. Since you risked your own life to request for me, I don't have a choice. I will lend you my strength to you. I will lend my strength to you. There we go. We got Navarre. Now we can go ahead and let uh, some of my other units start heading up here. Ogma, let's go ahead and have you attack. There we go. Now, wait. Oh, you're both considered mercenaries. I forget there isn't. There isn't a, uh, Myrmidon class. Just blanking. Uh, do I, no, you're already, like, level six. Let's see, let's have you use this, get the KO. Come on, Abel, you got this. Far. Let's have you go over here. You have a killing edge. We need to get you a new sword. But for now. Didn't activate. That's fine. Navar's fine. Uh, you can't heal yet. Bars, you go ahead and just head up. Got this. Other than thieves. Oh, there's a shop. Okay. Alright, what is your range? You got a movement of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. Let's see if we can bring him over. 
have Jagan be a be bait. And Castor. And Marth. We took a detour just to get to a village for a weapon that I'm not gonna use. Running away, you coward. I mean, granted, he will die if he does so. If he does fight. I wish the AI is kind of smart in that case. Go Navarre for crit. And. Not just an archer. That's not a good sign. But the thieves are running away. Attack. What are we looking at? 14, 10 damage, but we don't have enough to double. Um, what's your movement? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Kane, you go right here. We'll just have you wait. You'll get attacked multiple times, but that's fine. You'll be fine. Closer. Go ahead and have Jagan potentially be a wall if needed. Let's see. Okay, Navar needs healing, so he needs to back out. Too bad Lena doesn't have a staff. Okay. Agma. What are we looking at? Attack of 12. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. Let's let Bart's go ahead. Attack of 19. 15? Okay. We'll have him weaken. Or, you know, he just gets the 6% crit. That's fine. <laughs> I wasn't planning for that. It's not like I was going to give the kill to Sheeta, but, you know, what do I know? Okay, less, less. 22. Oops, okay. okay. Able, go ahead and weaken. Oh, get the kill. I didn't realize it was that one. Oh, well, that's fine. Perfect. Level four. Skill, luck, weapon level. All right. Agma will start sending you up. And Sheeta. We'll just have you here, because why not? And everyone else can start heading up this way, because why not? It's not hurting anything. Julian, I still don't know if you can actually do something. You just have a door key. That's all you got. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Anyone else? Nope, that's it. Come on, Kane, you can survive all this. Good, you dodged. Alright. Then Kane's probably gonna get attacked by both the archers. are just running away in fear. Alright, good. Let's see. You have 13. If I were to attack with 14 defense. Yeah, it's not enough. So what if I have 
Castor, weaken. What's your attack? 13, 10. Or I could go 16 damage and get the one hit KO. If I hit. Perfect. Six. I can double. But if I go to steel, I can't double. If I use the rapier, I deal the same amount of damage. So, no. Okay, let's actually go with like, level three. Kane. Let's have you weaken. Or, you know, you get the 6% crit. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay, Marth. Let's have you weaken. Just walks up slowly to the opponent. Approaching me, I have to get closer to beat you up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, let's actually. No, you, you can move. I thought he would be trapped. Never mind. Yeah, I thought he would be trapped. Your movement is six. One, two, three, four, six. I guess I could limit the archer's movement. We could do that. Bring Gordon Porter a little closer. Even though I don't plan on using them. Okay, Shido. Can you grab the kill? Attack speed of five. I have a better attack speed with the slim. Sunlance. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Attack sun. Yeah, zero damage. I just realized that. Of course, the accuracy. Ugh. Alright. Uh, only... No, I can have both. Can you go ahead and weaken him for me? That works too. <laughs> the crit works too. Ogma. Now we'll have you grab this kill. I was gonna hand it to Sheeta, but it didn't work out. Sorry, Sheila. Still gonna be a bit before you get another kill. Alright, well, up here is safe. Much else. I'm still gonna let the others move forward. I might give the, uh, Julian's sword over to Navarre. Jagan, he's defenseless. He can't do anything. He's just here to be a wall. Be bait. I'll probably give Marth that KO. We'll see. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that wasn't much. That wasn't much healing. Okay, Kane. I, I can have you go all the way over here. Iron, let's see how we do. It's uh, even. It's even. How much health do we have left? 13. Can we give Caster the kill? The iron. 13. No, not enough. If we go ahead and use the steel, that should be enough. Except, you know, he... That 5% chance to miss, you know? You know, I always hate those. I really hate those 5% chances. XP 6. I'll double. Yeah. Yeah, this will work. I double. Perfect. Heart's gonna need healing soon. I think I'll go ahead and let Jagen block, as well as, I guess we'll have uh, Bord block. Bord, just stay here. Who's left? Magma, go ahead and heal up. And Kane, she does start trying to head this way. Fine. Everyone just start heading this way. Okay, it looks like an ad is gonna start soon. I'm gonna refill my water when the ad's playing. Chains being attacked. And Kane dodged. Now, the real question is, can Kate uh Caster actually have the accuracy check? It's gonna start here in a second. Again, the ad's gonna start soon. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna go refill my water. I'm just gonna do that right now. Be right back.
Alright, I'm back. I am back. Looks like the ad just ended too. Alright. Back to chapter. Alright, uh, you are weakened. Caster! Please! Hit him! That'd be nice. Thank you, Caster. We'll make you a horseman someday. Alright, uh, Marth needs healing. Kang needs oh, healing. Um, how do I want to handle this? You know what? Cheetah. You go right here. We'll have you equip the iron for more damage. Able, you start getting a little bit closer. Uh, what's your health at? Okay, you're at full. Let me send you. Send you over. I don't remember if, the, if there's reinforcements in this chapter. Actually, I don't think reinforcements really happen for a little while. I could be wrong. Where are you at? Yeah, let's just have you move up and we'll have you stand on the other fort a little later. Okay. Um, I wouldn't mind giving Mark the KO. So I'm going to go ahead and let Kane stand here, get some healing. Should we get you back out? Marth, go ahead and grab the KO. There we go. And Marth gets a level. Level four. Skill and luck. That's it. Okay, well, he's more accurate. That's for sure. That's it. Okay, Shida, you got this. Yeah. Good dodge. I knew she could double as well. Uh, almost there. Almost at a level. Sheeta, go ahead and... Yeah. We're gonna let Sheeta go ahead and just go here, grab the KO. Perfect. Perfect. There we go, Sheeta. Level 3! Skill, speed, luck, weapon level. And we got the Volunary, which we could give that to someone else. Um, well, let's just set Abel here. Apparently have the Iron Lance, you're good. Barst, send you forward. Don't worry, I will get the Men's Staff here in a second. It's gonna take a little bit. Everything's really slow. this one guy. Do I want to give Abel the KO? Maybe I can hand it to Sheeta at four. Yeah, we can hand the KO to Sheeta. 
not gonna hurt anything. Perfect. She needs a level or two. Or a kill or two, whatever. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna have Abel go ahead and trade. Let's take that bow and marry from you. What do you have? You have a hand axe, so technically range. Alright, Kane. What can you do? Actually, I'm gonna have Kane go here instead. Yeah. 14. 7 damage. What's your defense? Kind of looking at the same thing here. You know what? I think I'm going to wait a turn before attacking. I think I'll go ahead and let Mark heal up a bit. Let's go ahead and get Caster over here. There's an iron sword at the shop, so I'll go buy him one. And sit here, because why not? I need you out of the way. Alright. And Marth, you're... you can still use a turn two healing. Okay, go ahead and attack with your iron, and let's see what we can do. So, you guys want to die? I'll grant you a wish. survive, or Abel will survive, two hits. If we go with the iron, 15, uh, 8 damage. Alright, yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, we're good. We're getting the dodges in. Abel got the crit. Good for him. Go Abel. Get those crits. It was an 8%. Level 5. Skill, luck, weapon level. And we got the men's staff back. Ugh. I'll remember you. <sighs> Alright. Next turn we can seize. Uh, Sheeta, can we go ahead and buy something? No. Okay, so we're just going to buy one iron sword. No. There we go. Alright. That's good. Next turn. And go ahead, Marth. Seize the castle. Look. Your Highness, we found one thou... Uh, 10,000 gold inside the castle, which the bandits left behind. With these, we can make further preparations. Excellent. Tomorrow, we will reach our, uh, our, our railing, our railis. Ah, man. Uh, until then, please rest well. Alright, let's move on. Maybe at least get one more chapter in here. Plains to the northeast of Arcanea 
are ruled by the kingdom of Ar Aradis. Since its formation, this northern kingdom has had close relationship with the holy kingdom of Arcanea. Other countries have completely fallen, and one half of Aradis been has been conquered by Medon. However, the king's younger brother, Hardin, nicknamed the Coyote, continues fighting. It was also thanks to Duke Hardin that Arcanea's princess, uh, Nina, was also was able to arrive safely. It has already been several months since letters were sent containing plans to defeat the Dulu uh, Dulunian Empire. The, but these sad cries for help were left unanswered. Facing the Medon Medonian army's elite forces, their fate is also reaching its end. Julian. Take Drog. There we go. Let's go ahead and trade. Uh, Sheeta, go ahead and trade the Iron Sword to Navarre. There we go. Do that. I think we're good on items, so let me double check. Right here, Iron Steel, Iron Iron. Yep. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, right, who has... You have the mend. Give that to Lena. Perfect. Alright, save. And let's... let's go. Princess Nina, the Artean army has appeared across the river. Huh? Is that true, Hardin? Does that mean Prince Marth has finally come? That's right. Now we can finally restore our army's strength. But Princess Nina is going to be dangerous, so please wait in the fort. We will come back together with the Altian, Altian Knights. Men, charge! Are they, are any of them useful? So we got Harden. We got a bunch of tabs. Violent? Okay. Cav. Level 1. Roshia? Huh. Level 3. We got Wolf, who's also a horseman. And we got Set, uh, Sedgar, also a horseman. If you kind of, okay, wait a minute. Six strength, skill, and speed. Let me compare that to Castor. Honestly, I think Castor is probably going to be a better wolf in Sedgar, but he just needs the training. Byland, uh, have. 536, let me see. Ken and Abel are currently better. Maybe Violent could be a decent Cav. He is level 1, so it's almost like starting a new Cav. 653? Or 657? Uh, uh, Roshi is already two levels higher, and the stats are just not that much different. Violent could probably be viable, but I don't know if I would use him. Harden's level 6 and he already has 9 strength. 7 skill, 8 speed. 7 skill, 8 speed. And what level is he? 6? Ah, uh, 
Heaven's not that bad. Looking at stats, it's kind of comparable to Abel's. Yeah, it's not that bad. Harden's not that bad. Alright, what do we got? Is there a unit I need to talk to? I forget. Oh, uh, we already got bishops. Eric, you're not recruitable, I know that much. Ah, Mat uh, Mattis. He looks like the brother to Violent. So I wonder if we need to talk with the island. Javelin. Uh, thieves. Yeah, I think we need to have Violin talk to Mathis, but that's about it. Alright. Where's Mark? There you are. Send you this way. Send you to the village. Wait, is there anyone up here? No. Okay. We're gonna have my calves and Pegasus Knights all head up this way. Okay. Cheetah, go right ahead, head up here too. Whoops. Navar. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's a four. Okay. Um, uh, we're closer over here. We'll have them help out. Castor. Up here. Garst. Uh, I guess you'll go over here, I guess. And Lena. Just kind of have you in the middle, just in case anyone needs healing. Over here! Um... Hmm. I think, if anything, we're just gonna have Harden do things. And Violin, maybe, too. But I think I'm just gonna have them guard over here. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna have them do all that. I don't think I plan to actually use Harden. If anything, I might use Violin. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, already heading down there. Yeah, I gotta block it. Block the path. are heading towards our main group. That's fine for that. Okay, Sheeta, you got this. Um, yeah, she doubles. She's fine. She's fine. She's gonna need healing, but she's fine. Never mind. She's in danger. And she got the crit. Yoshida! She got the 8% crit. And we got a level. Level 4. Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. You, you can't reach Shida. You can reach Shida. Okay, you can reach Shida. This is bad. This is bad. Bye, Shida. <laughs> That's a reset. Do I need the death counter for this stream? for this series. I might need the death counter back. Alright, time to restart that. Yeah, I, I think I need to bring it back. I think I need to reset it. Actually, let me see if it's still working. I might need to get it fixed in between. Let me see if it still works. No, it's not set up. I, get, I think I have to turn uh, turn it back on. I'll do that between streams. Right now, I just gotta keep in mind that it's at three. Three deaths. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Luckily, I already saved. Just... Oh! What? 
I thought it saved. It did save. But I have to click them again? That's weird. That's strange. By opening, no, we're good. Or did I accidentally hit yes? I did accidentally hit yes. Dang it! You know, I could work. I remember this game's, like, giving you... I remember the uh, Shadow Dragon loving giving you warp staffs. Like, if you use a warp staff, like, once per chapter, by the time you're about to run out, you get another one. I think I remember something like that. Um, let's see. So I may do... I may go another route. What if I warp... That's the thing. I can technically just warp Marth all the way over here. That might be too dangerous. Uh, showing the cavemen in Blight Town why magic triumphs over their sticks and poison arrows. I mean, I, I, I would think magic would be better than sticks and poison arrows. I would think so. Harden. Move them like normal. That just sounds like a good idea. And okay. I may use the, the warp. Nine moving. Oh wow. I didn't realize they can move that far. Alright, I see my mistake. To get a head start. Warp? Let's see. If I let's have you go here. Because I have the javelin. Souls games at some point. Dark Souls 1 and 2 feel like an adventure. I bet. So you have 5 movement, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can attack here. Abel, you go ahead and equip your javelin. Let's see how well that goes. Down here, let's not make. Let's not have Sheeta just run straight in. Let's not do that. Kane, go ahead and hang out here. I think I remember, based on, like, my... When I played through FE1, I remember using, like, the warp staff, like, once per map, give or take. And by the time uh, I was about to run out, the game just gives you another one. It's like, wow, I'm not gonna worry about not using the warp staff. And heroes, the next banner is Sacred Stones. And the overall sentiment is that skippable. Why is it skippable? Why is the next uh, banner skippable? Actually, I I think I read that uh, we uh, we missed a chapter in the original game. They've already skipped one. Yeah. Uh, if we were playing. As any other version, we uh, there would be a chapter before this. Wait, what? Wait a minute, hold on. This is weird. 
so I'm kind of glancing at this. Um, so it turns out that Mathis on the enemy side was available in Chapter 4 that we skipped. But he's still recruitable here. They just moved him over. Where's Mathis? Is that him? He was in the previous Chapter 4, but because they cut out Chapter 4, I'm assuming for space, they let you recruit him here. But, they, uh, but the series doesn't care about this. Okay, I, I think I see what's happening. Okay, uh, Harden. Well, I mean... If you're going to get this close with no one defending, uh, protecting you, let's see, efficiency 24, wait, so is it 24 damage? Yeah, it's 24 damage, okay. Just trying to figure out the UI. So when... So, wait, Lena's brother? Oh, oh, we have Lena talk to. to hit him? No, you missed, didn't you? Yeah. Alright. We kind of got hit. What's your... You know what? Let's just have Abel go ahead and... Use your iron. How much damage are we talking? 15. With attack speed of 3. 9 damage. Only 9? What about the silver? Attack speed at 2, 22. 22 minutes. I think that's actually a one hit KO. That's a one hit KO. There we go, exactly 16. The two summer banners kind of depleted most of the people's orbs, and the second is that the characters don't look that strong. Or the only character people kind of want, but even then, they kind of don't. I don't know why they added her instead of Ephraim, since Ephraim and Heroes uses axes and lances. Hmm. So, do you think they just added her because cute girl makes people buy more? That's That would be my guess. But you could have also made another character. the KO to Sheeta. Right, Ad's playing again. Oh, I'm gonna look through. Can we have you... Yeah, we can have you grab that KO. That'll probably do something. We got an ad, another ad already? Wow, time flies. Um, we have Kane go after you. You're just very weak. Hmm. And I gotta be careful with your movement. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Hmm. I think 
Cheetah needs to back out. Okay, that is done. Here's what I'm thinking. We have Caster, go ahead. Grab the KO. What's your attack? Six, uh, 13. KO caster. Perfect. Level four, strength, skill, luck. Alright. What if we have burst attack? What are we looking at? So attack of 19. That's 13. We can weaken. Yeah, we, we can do that. And you know what I'll, you know what I'll also do? I'll have bar skill here to potentially slow down the archer, potentially. Go Barst. And he, he was fast enough to double. Again, Bars, even though axes are not that great, Bars is still probably the only... I'll still probably take Bars permanently. Alright. Let's see how I want to handle this. Level 3, you're level 3. Level 3. Kane, can you weaken? 14. 6. So we're talking 8 damage. But, uh, who are the other Sacred Stones characters that add into Heroes? It sounds like it's not Ef not Ephraim. That's for sure. Attack at 12, but you double. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Agma's good. Level 4, Strength, Speed, Defense, HP. Good, good. Alright, uh, Mark, go ahead and go to the village. If I do this right, there we go. Village. Kid, what are you looking at? You haven't seen many rural towns like this. Now that you mention it, I remember the time I went to, uh, Hyrathi. I was really shocked when I first saw a maniquette. An ordinary looking old man suddenly transformed into a giant dragon. That was really surprising. Well, I knew that the dragon tribe had some survivors, but I didn't expect them to be so impressive. Huh? Oh, this? I found it there. I don't know what it is, but you don't see many growing le glowing red stones like this, right? Oh, oh well. It doesn't seem normal to me. If you want it, you can have it. See ya. See ya, kid. I hope we meet again. We got a Firestone. Might as well just... Eh, it's not hurting anything. We can keep it. For now. Let's see. Abel's fine. How about Navar? What if we throw you over here? What are we looking at? 10 damage. You can double. But you only deal like three damage. Killing Edge, 13. So we're talking six damage. I double, that's 12. With the chance to crit. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna have Navar go do this. I don't think I'm gonna have Navar do that. Let me check something with Sheeta. What if I flew all the way up here? I could dismount and lose the weakness. Okay, let's see. 12? That's with 8. 6. No. I can't KO. Unless I get a crit, and that's not worth it. Alright, um... Uh, yeah, I 
better just put your movement eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, you know what? What's your attack? Twelve? Seven. It's five. It's my attack speed. Eight. Sheeta, go ahead and to cast your Navar, you do the same thing. Which weapon do you have equipped? Yeah, you're fine. Then you have okay. Yeah. I'm gonna set you here. Come on, Abel, you got this. Okay, you didn't double, but that's okay. Yeah, I didn't get hit by the archer. Probably need him to back out and heal. And the thieves are here now. out over here. So we're 11 damage. I could have, I can have Caster take care of you. 26. Yeah. Here we go. Come on, Caster, you got this. There you go. Perfect. 32 XP. Alright. Now for you. you get rid of First, you don't need to level up Agma. Agma doesn't need it. Let's hand it. Let's see if I can hand it to Navar. Uh, ten damage. And I'm more like four. Seems like Navar really needs the Killing Edge to actually do something. Not really feeling it, Navar. We got the double. Well, um. Sheeta, go right ahead. Weapon level as well. Okay. Lena, uh, just not in range. Okay, Kane, can you please get this kill? 14 damage. 14 damage. 12, that's it. We can hand it to Marth, though. We can hand it to Marth. Sorry, Kane will take probably a total of two damage out of this. Yeah. Alright. Marth. Go right ahead. Alright, Abel. Um. Okay. I have a better idea. Abel, go right ahead and run. Marth, go ahead and grab the kill. We'll just use the iron. 
I forget, does the rapier also work against calves still, or is it just the knight? I mean, normally it affects both. Oh, we took some gold. Oh, you could drop a silver sword. I don't think we need the silver anymore. What about the iron? Okay, 15. I could get the KO, however, your attack is 11, defense is 7, oh, I'm not a fan, what's your attack, 7, you take no damage, Great. the banners, Amelia, Erica, Ford, and some heroes OC? What? Okay. Is Ford also a Heroes OC, or is Ford also in FE8? Colin Ford, yeah, yeah. So, it's kind of weird that you have an FE8 banner, and three of them are FE8, and one's just a Heroes OC. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I, I now remember, yeah. Just double checking because normally, if they split a banner, it's usually like evenly split, right? Attack of 11, text of 11. So I would take four damage. You know what? Able? With the iron, we do 15. That's definitely enough. Your attack, uh, your, your accuracy is still 100. It's actually better to do this. It's better to do this. Connected to the story going on. Ah, uh, okay. okay. I see. I see. Yeah. You, you're not gonna get hurt by this thief. And you're gonna deal like four damage. Yeah, it was better to get rid of the calves. Then I go right ahead and we are going to Let's heal up Kane. to head up here. Okay. And I think everyone here needs to just wait it out. And Ogma's... Yeah, Ogma's fine. Just have to start heading out. There's like five storylines going on. Two already ended. Hmm. It's kind of weird that that they're doing like a split story thing going on. I guess. Okay, so this one. Okay, what is your movement? Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Abel will be fine if I go ahead and heal him, but let me double check. Can you get the KO? 15. That's your 3. 15. No, wait. I needed the silver for a one hit KO. 22. 6. No, it's not enough. Not enough for a one hit KO. Um, Marth can make it. I don't want to set anyone down here. Um, anyone else have range? Cast 
sure, but no. Okay. Well, I know what I can do. Hold on. Kane, go ahead and attack. Okay. Level up. Strength, speed, and we weapon level and HP. Okay. Lena, go ahead and heal. Mend. You know, she said she needed her mend staff, but I'm looking at this animation. It doesn't look like it doesn't even look like she uses a staff at all. All right. Can you hit with the javelin? I mean, it would be enough. There we go, I lucked out. Yay, Abel leveled up. He's six. Strength, speed, luck, weapon level. Alright. Someone needs to go up to that thief. And that someone might be Shida. Let's attack seven. Alright, Shida, you got this. And Marth, what is your attack or defense? Seven? Okay, Marth's got this too. He can just go in for the attack. Attack speed six. Can we get a faster attack speed? Yeah, but not enough. Alright, Iron Sword. Uh, for Jorm, being chosen for the goddess of ice to be your champion, being cured of her ice illness. She has to fight the previous foe who was killed. She was revived as the champion of the fire god. Isn't that uh, just the story of chapter, like, what, two or three? Or book two or three? Because I think I remember kind of playing through that one. Like, just kind of glancing through it. Caster can... No, oh, you can't reach. It's a continua... Oh, it's a continuation of book two. Wait, so... I got a question then. Oh, wait, do I want... Level four. We're all level four. I can get rid of the thief right now. Oh, right, thieves can destroy the house, the villages, that's right. So, when a story ends, I mean, the characters are still technically with you, but do they say anything, or is it just... It almost acts like they don't exist. And Agma has a silver sword. I wonder if I should give that to Navar. Just to help him out a bit. Just once, I want to see you before I die. The game is at least telling you who you need to talk to them with. You just kind of wish it happened before they attacked. Alright, Lena. Mathis! Brother! Brother, it's me, Lena! Uh, Lena, why are you here? I was captured by the ghoul's teeth bandits, but the Altians rescued me. But, brother, why are you in the army? After you fled from Prince, uh, uh, Mikhail, Menden became more and more ruthless. The princess despised me, or the prince despised me, so he forced me to join the army and fight here. I detest fighting. If I don't cooperate, they'll execute me. I don't really have a choice. No, brother. You should have been braved and walked your own path. It was Medan that was wrong. For allying with, du uh, with the Dululian. Dululian. Uh, uh, and causing its people to suffer. What they're doing is deplorable. Brother, it's not too late. Come with us and join the Ultian Army Alliance. Everybody will welcome you. Because they're all good people. 
Really? I understand. Since I'm going to die anyway, I might as well die a glorious death. However, I heard that you, uh, you, uh, flatly denied the prince's proposal. My life is going to be hard with a sister like you. That said, you're still a woman. Are there any guys that take your fancy? Huh? No, there's nobody. Hmm. I, sh I was sure there was. Never mind. You've already reached the age of freely to freely love. But remember what I'm about to say. Never fall in love with a thief. Huh? But... Okay, that's good. Well, Lena, don't put your push yourself too hard. I'll just go and say my farewells to the Medonian army. There we go. We got Mathis. Alright. Uh, Mark, go right ahead and... Go to the village. Oh, Prince Marth! It's been a while. Huh? Oh, Merrick! Merrick! Yeah, it's me. When I was studying at, uh, Caden, I, he I heard war broke out and came to look for your highness. Really? Thank you. I thought with you in our ranks, I could relax. You will help me, right? Of course. Check out the might of my Excalibur magic that I learned at Caden. There we got Merrick. Mage. Well, I like my mages, so you're definitely probably going to be in the main team. Uh, so yeah, the story ends in the campaign. He usually leaves. But some visit as far often. Hmm. What do we got in the shop? Iron sword, steel sword. Iron lance, steel lance, javelin, iron bow. I might need to buy stuff from there. You have a silver sword. You could use the steel sword. But I think it's safe to say that Navarre needs a steel sword. He needs the he needs the battle power. It's a iron for now. Who could use a steel lance? I could give one to Sheeta. And Kane could use a steel and a javelin. Let's give him that. If Norm goes back to her kingdom to rule over it, that's when the Ice God champion versus the Ah, uh, so it's so the story continuation takes place after she went back to rule the kingdom, right? Buy a javelin for you, just so you actually have range. All right, so Kane bought stuff. Abel, um, he has the silver lance. Let's, I'd rather use that up. I probably won't be using Mathis. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna use any of these new characters. Uh, you don't need another bow. Just good. Do I want to give Sheeta a... Well, she's not going to use anything else. I might as well give her a new lance. Do I give her a javelin or do I give her a so a steel one? Hmm. I'm not sure. Is there a... There isn't a normal shop for men's... for staffs. Okay. Jorm was gonna die since she was infected with the ice-related illness. That was an effect from using new power to kill surgeon. Ah, okay. Right, Kane, you're good. What's your... Okay, you can be healed. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna want America here. And if I remember correctly, the rapier is actually good against the armor units, so we can start sending Marth that way too. You already have steel swords, so you're good. Okay, go ahead and head down here. 
let's go ahead and heal him up. I don't know if any of those are useful for you, but, you know... Oh wait, you know, let me check something. So, strength is just universal, right? Strength affects magic as well? Or just... Wait. I'm trying to remember. In the first game, NES, I think magic just basically does a set amount of damage, right? Let me see. Do I give you the javelin and the steel? Ten might. There's a seven. Will us hit. Two more weight, but you have way more attack speed. You can probably level two, weapon level three. You have a weapon level 9. You already have an attack speed of 9. You know what? I'm gonna give her this. Uh. And there's gonna be an ad starting soon. I'm just buying stuff. It's fine. You know what? I think I will give her the steel. That attack boost is probably what she needs. Second one was the adopted daughter of death, Er, being hunted down by the new guy's death. Er tries to talk down, talk her down, but with no success. However, the goddess of life sh chooses her to be her avatar and saves her. Go Bars. Uh, er then defeats the new goddess of death. Kill. She now has a new occupation working with working with the goddess of life. I see. Wow, that's basically full heal. Wait, that's oh, I didn't even catch that. Oh, you can't even attack. You're just a healer. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Mary. Let's see. Seven damage. What's your attack speed? Four. I will double. That's fourteen. I guess I have to do this. Yeah, I will have to. It's way weaker, but... I will double. If I did this, thirteen, I... Don't have enough attack speed. Yeah, I actually deal more damage this way. Uh, I'll go ahead and let the ad play out. Let me get Sheeta out of the way. And I'll just buy a uh, new sword from the bar. Yeah, just a steal. That'll be fine. Three damage. The 
third story is the fairies fighting the bottom of nothingness. They revive the goddess of nightmares to fight nothing. But she almost gets one shot before Penny gets an upgrade. She manages to prevent nothingness from destroying the dream room. Hmm. Alright. Merrick! We'll let you use Blizzard! And get the 3% crit! That works. Wasn't expecting that, but that works. Okay. Level 6. Level 6. Kane, you really could use. You can use this. 15. The attack speed is 5. Well, it is what it is. Story is still going because they are still fighting nothing. As I see. So you're saying the the goddess, the Ur one and the Fajor one are, have ended. Let's have you back out, and we'll just let you heal. Mend. Heal up first. Why not? Get the EXP. Perfect. Castor, can you actually get the kill? Do I want you to get the kill? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Armor unit. You have an armor slayer. Mm. What's your attack? 14. Attack of 14, defense of 4, 10. Yeah, you know what? You're fine. You're fine. 14, attack. That's a 4. What about the steel? 17, attack. 17, attack. 13. Ah, not enough. Not enough. Uh, let's just deal as much damage as possible. Yeah, that's... I did not do that one. That's the one I did not do. Uh... This is getting a new realm. It seems the one is actually something from the past, and they're finding their own men from the far past. Ah, uh, okay. Four, you're also four. Who do I want to get the to? Uh, it's, I think it's actually kind of harder to get Castor experience, so we'll give them a kill when we can. Granted, once we start fighting mages, it might, it might have a better shot. Level 5, defense, and we got a heal staff. No one needs healing, right? 21, 21, 22. Yeah, let's go here, let's trade. Get that heal over here. Perfect. Merrick, can you... Yes, yes you can. Merrick. Let's see. Max speed of 4, 7 damage. 14, but if we go Excalibur, I can't double. I can't double. I have a high chance to crit. I'm still better off with Blizzard and Weakening. Sacred Stone Banner. That's that hero's OC. He's really too poor steroid. Sorry, I see. Makes sense. Are the Sacred Stones characters also related to the new story? Or is it just... They just felt like doing Sacred Stones right now. Right, what's my attack? 15. That's 4. Oh, ouch. Alright, time for a steal. 18. 18 damage. That's 11. There we go. 
Cocaine. Double check on the third story in case it's finished. And we got our armor slayer. Put in the supply. We'll put the armor slayer in supply. We'll probably give that to maybe Navarre. Navarre or Agma. Not sure which. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the armor slayer at the moment just so someone has it. Go ahead and we'll go ahead and buy the. I'll go ahead and go ahead and buy the steel sword. Ah, words. I just realized that uh, Akuma can't even use the silver sword yet. He's just carrying it. All right, what's next? I think we're good. I don't think there's anything left. He's not gonna move. What do you have? A writer's bane. Ooh, that's that's not good. Well, some bar stover. No wonder he took over. Like this whole kingdom is like filled with calves. They're just there. Summoned heroes affected the story only in book one, but since they aren't related to the main sto port, uh, story, they. Do get a little story though during the forty bonds, right? So really, the sacred stones characters are really just there to be sacred stones characters and nothing else. Because you know we need our tenth era right now. That doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. I thought we could take that one over. Okay, uh, Rapier, effective against knights. We have attack speed of 7. We will double. What was your attack power? 10. Oh, no, it's 20 this time. Yeah. We could just let Morph get the KO right there. Let me look at Merrick. Very quick. 7 damage, attack speed of 4. Again, 14... But if we have Excalibur, it's, yeah. I think I think it's gonna take a bit for Merrick to really get that uh, attack up. So let's just let Mark take care of it. This castle is Minerva's. I won't let you enter freely. Minerva, you say? And there's the crit. Oh, I just realized I wasn't even counting his defense. There we go. Level 5. Skill, luck, weapon level, HP. And we got the Rider's Bane. We'll throw that in storage. You don't think you've won. Amelia might be kind of neat. The base version was a speed tank, and that's cool, but unfortunately speed tanks are all oh, met meta very fast. Yeah, um, makes sense why they would fall out of meta. Who should have the writer's bane? Well, it seems like it's going in storage. Honestly, if I was using Drogmore, I would probably give him the writer's bane. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we are good. Uh, stats. Anyone? Oh, this is not what I meant. Huh, okay. I more meant unit. This is what I want. Can we get a look at HP? Max HP. So we can heal Marth. Uh, Mathis. Alright, hold on. Skill X. <sighs> okay. Usually weight's not the first option. Staff. Heal. 10 HP. It actually just tells you how much HP it recovers. That's interesting. 
But again, there doesn't seem to be an actual magic stat. So it seems like uh, it's just whatever the staff is and nothing else. One more turn. We'll heal Marth and then we'll seize. The new Mamelia is also a speed tank. I don't know if she'll be good. The banner showcase, they only show her tanking years old meta. Oh no. <laughs> they don't show her taking current meta. Either she can't take them, or they don't know what the current meta is. Yeah. It's... Let's heal Marth. And here's the thing, if they made Amelia specifically meant to counter new meta, then they're just going to find... Then she'll be overpowered, and then they're going to have to create uh, create a new team to deal with Amelia. It's just a vicious cycle. I'm just going to throw Fire's Bane in. Seize. Oh, Prince Marth! You came at the perfect time! Princess Na Nina is, has almost arrived here from the fort. However, there are still many enemies in the castle. Please be careful. Save the game. We unlocked a few achievements. I think I'm going to call it. This is a decent spot. Fort is interesting. It's the first character in the game to purposely debuff their own stats. Why? Why would you purposely debuff your own stuff? Why would you do that? Is there some sort of like, oh, I give you my debuffs with this ability now or something? Like we trade buffs or something. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna call it. Uh, this is a decent spot to stop. Uh, however, I might as well show off the achievements we unlocked uh, during this during this session. Might as well, right? Oh no, why is it unavailable? Never mind. Well, never mind. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> never mind. All right. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Uh, yeah. Next time, we're going to start Chapter 5. We'll continue on with FE3. He debuffs his speed and defense. However, he has speed, defense, utility, and his unity in his ace slot. I don't know what that means. You're going to have to explain it to me later. Anyway, uh, yeah. Next Tomorrow, we'll continue on with the game. Nothing new. And I'll get the death counter working. We've lost three times, if I'm correct. I'll make sure that's working for next time. Anyway, have a good day. Later.